Good morning. On behalf of Pastor David and the staff, I want to welcome you to the bridge. It's time to come on in and grab a seat. Worship's going to start in just a few minutes. Now, after worship is going to be a time of announcements where we get a chance to catch you guys up on what's going on around the church. Now, following that is Greet and Give. Now, Greet and Give is an opportunity for us to honor God with our tithes and our offerings, as well as say hey to some of our old friends and hopefully get a chance to meet some new ones. Recently, you may have heard Pastor David or some of the assisting pastors talking about the seven spiritual passions. Now, we want to highlight one of those spiritual passions each week for the next few weeks and how they apply to our own personal spiritual walk with Christ. The seven spiritual passions are reading and studying, praying, giving, serving, worship, evangelism and discipleship, and finally, fellowship and family. Now, I think a lot of times when people hear the word serving, they think about what are you doing here at the church? Are you working in a cafe? Are you doing sparkle, children's ministry, media? How are we serving God outside of this building, in our personal lives, in the real world? Are we being good stewards with the things that God has blessed us with? Are we telling others about Him? Are we sharing His word? Are we showing His love to others? We have the opportunity to serve God at our places of work, at school, and how about at home with our families? Now, that's my two cents on serving. But let's hear from a couple other people around the church on what they feel serving is to them. That's looking for something to do that needs to be done. I would define serving as being completely selfless. Uh, sometimes we serve doing what we want. Sometimes we serve doing what is needed. I get serving from watching how Jesus washed the disciples' feet in the Bible, right? The interesting thing about it is serving is an opportunity to experience something different about Jesus. Glorifying Him in all your actions that you do for someone else. Stepping out of your comfort zone to meet the needs of others. Well, the Bible says, do everything as unto the Lord. So if you make that decision in your mind and you, you believe that in your heart and you, you ask the Lord, what would you have me do? Then everything you do is an act of service. Being married, you serve all the time. Um, so that's definitely a daily event. You know, you sacrifice your thought process, your actions. Well, if you're doing it unto the Lord, you should do your very best and you should strive for excellence. Serving in my everyday life isn't just at church. It's at home serving my husband, it's serving my children, it's serving those that I come in contact with throughout my daily routine, whether it's my mother-in-law or just friends that we happen to come across. Um, but above all is being selfless and thinking of God. No matter what you're doing, you think you're doing it literally for God, it helps you get through the season of, oh, I don't want to do it, but God, I'm going to do it for you. Thank you again for being here this morning. We are excited and honored to be able to serve you and your family while you're here with us.